Your jail sentence has expired. The door will now open and you are free to exit to return to your normal life. Wait, hey Hero, wait, hold up. Why is he ignoring me? Hey, wait, wait up. What do you want? Well, it's been a while. How, how, how has it been? Uh, you know how it's been. You got me caught, and I spent the last. That that's. that's I spent the last week in house arrest. Okay, I'm lucky I didn't go to federal prison for the rest of my life. I didn't get you caught. Some something came up. You ditched uh, me. What do you mean something R came routine up? Routine job, r routine job went wrong. I mean, what can I say? It, it did go wrong. Anyways, what do you what do you want now? On the bright side, I do something else has come up. Okay, what, an opportunity. what's that? This is well, biggest one we've ever done. You know, biggest one. B we've biggest ever what we've ever done? Biggest school. You're suggesting another heist? Yes, I am. No, no, I'm done with that life. I spent my time, One and I'm a changed man. I'm not doing any more crime. You're a changed man. So, you really want to spend the rest of your life looking in empty bookshops? Well, I do other things. Oh. I'll, I'll try and... Oh, really? Like what? I'm just going to live a normal life, okay? I'm not going to be doing any more crime. And what is a normal life? One without crime. I don't need any more of this. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Well, well, look, you finally decided to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I decided to take your offer, and, uh, I made a plan for this heist. Mm-hmm. So what's the plan, boss? All right. So, we leave for it at midnight. We'll make sure there's no witnesses nearby, and first we place the explosives on the west wing. We'll go in from above and kill the guard. Then we'll go to the east wing and do the same thing. Finally, we'll go to the main room and explode the entrance from above and kill the guard down there. Then we block ourselves in next to the gold for a breather, and we mine to the gold. Then we leave and disappear into the night. Any questions? Wait, 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 wait. So how are we gonna, you know, not drown? I'm actually glad you asked that question. Um, I have uh, gotten some very well-patented respiration three helmets for us so we can breathe mm -hmm. virtually underwater forever and we also have some water breathing potions right and how long will those last for exactly they will allow us to stay underwater for eight minutes without air and then the respiration three helmets will help us when we start to run out of air so we can stay underwater up to about 10 minutes all right then well i suggest we get to work yeah let's get to it
we do it. Yeah. Alright guys, in today's serious discussion, I really wanted to talk about why it's important to admit fault and accept blame so that you can move on from a bad chapter in your life. In the last episode, I was talking about how it's inevitable that everyone will make a mistake and everyone will mess up because humans just aren't perfect. And But, but what's what do you do when you mess up? That's the question today. Well, I think that accepting the blame and acknowledging that you've messed up is the first step, to, in a, and it's a really important step to undoing the damage and uh, not only is it responsible and not only is it the responsible and mature thing to do but it'll be easier to regain the trust of someone you've hurt if you do it that way if you just deny what happened was your fault or or when it, when it, whenever it was or whether it happened or not then you'll, you'll just get nowhere but sometimes it's nobody's fault and it just so happened that two individuals would lose trust in each other by a mere coincidence or a sequence of unfortunate events then what well both parties need to understand that they need to understand that and try to forgive each other so that they can move on then possibly they can even laugh at their own misfortune but that's unlikely given the circumstances and what was at stake All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode there. I really hope you enjoyed it because it took a lot of effort to make, and uh, I'm really sorry about the audio quality in this episode, but don't worry. The audio will be back to normal in the next episode. Please be sure to leave a comment down below and tune into the next episode of Vapor SMP next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where the episode will be a bit spooky. Mm-hmm. There's a little hint for what the episode is. Also, I'm going to be making an area at my base where I put the names of fans on signs to immortalize them in the series and the world forever. So be sure to click the Hero Cave entry link down below to enter to be able to be put into the world on a sign. And uh, I'm going to be doing that every episode. Unfortunately, I didn't get to build the Hero Cave or, or whatever this episode. I ran out of time, but I will be doing that probably next episode and putting the first name in it, obviously. Anyways, guys, I really hope you did like this video, and if you did, there's a button for that down below, and if you really liked it, then there's a button for that too. But anyways, guys, my name's Hero, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.